That's not a great pairing, <laughs> needing to win, but that's life. But he has to win as well, so it's not all bad. Should I go for here? Semislav, maybe? That's a really good opening. Hmm. Let's go for the solid line and then try and somehow outplay him later. Yeah, he's playing in the most solid way. Oh, I thought usually when you go for rook d1 early there, you just wait for b6 and then you go cd5. That's fine. Can I go c5 now? Looks fine. Looks like it's equalizing. Hmm. I well, think D seven is a little bit weirdly placed, maybe. Okay, I'll take Rook C eight. C D ninety five, Queen E four, maybe. G six, maybe that's not so bad. Hmm. What should I do here? Start exchanging. It doesn't look super attractive. But I don't see what else to do, so. There we go, I guess. Is there some. Yeah, I think there's actually. It's okay tactically. Knight e5, knight d7, bishop b5, there's rook c7. I think I'm fine. Bishop g3, I want queen c7. Get out of the pen. Faster! Yeah. But I'm playing a very strong player. So. Not easy. Rook c7. I think I'm protecting everything. Move the queen out of the pin. Ah, that's an annoying move. Probably have to trade now. Yeah, I have to trade. Now I'm not a lot worse, but I'm a little bit worse and I'm a little bit passive. So this is not not great news in terms of uh, playing for a win. He's playing very positionally. Okay, let's bring the knight out maybe. H three was a poor move. Both structurally and potentially also tactically. This, now we go bishop c5. More than happy to trade, get rid of his, um, his dark square bishop and his bishop pair. I'm sort of taking over a little bit. I'm not like really better, but my position is a little more pleasant to play now. Yeah, now that he has to trade, he's definitely worse. I can go b5. Shutting the bishop out of the game a little bit. He has queen b7 though. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not easy. Let's take... I'm removing the protection of the pawn on f4. I'm threatening rook c1. Now I can go b5. Keep his bishop out of the game. Uh, b3, that's a good move. I was hoping he wouldn't find that. Oh, I didn't see that at all. I'm still fine, but... If I had any advantage, I'd probably... Lost it by now. Queen d4 is really playing well now. Check. Why is he giving a check? Oh, he wants bishop b7. That's sick. That's a little sick. Do I have any... No, I don't have any ideas there. Okay. To go to a5 then. I can't go... Okay, I have to just go for the attack then. I just hope that this works out. This is so tense. Ah, didn't see that. Check. Is he panicking? I think he's panicking. Check. Check. Now it's mate. Mate. There we go. There we go. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh, the Sicilian. I feel like he deserves to be hit with uh, two a three for his uh, for his bravery. This is uh, definitely a case of don't try this at home. T5, I think D5 is a good move, but it's not so easy to to uh, to play. Oh, so there's Bishop T7. What's the story here? Like, I shouldn't pretend that I'm trying to remember. No, but I have seen this position before. Hmm. Yeah, let's just take. Knight C3. Keeping it simple. At least he's wasted a couple of tempi. Now I go bishop c4, d3, and then hoping to go h6. Doesn't look too bad. Like I lack a little bit of a foothold in the center, but this hook is very useful. So it shouldn't be too bad. Knight d4, I'm not sure I love. Knight f3, there's bishop g4, then bishop f7. Takes... Knight e5, king e8, takes. Knight c2, king e2. Who knows? Looks interesting at the very least. Probably good for me. My intuition tells me that should be good. GH. I mean, what on earth is that? That looks really dumb. Knight queen h5? Are you for real? I'm just getting all all my stuff for free. Ninety four. Yeah, I'm probably just winning here already. Or close to it. Maybe knight f six. You can sort of sort of hold knight f six, queen g five, and then rook g eight. It looks bad. 
No, there's a nice line actually. So knight f6, knight f6, queen g5, rook g8, bishop b5, king f8, then I could take an h7, because the queen is no longer protected on d8. Okay, let's see if uh, we can get that line. I mean, he can go, he can go bishop d7 now. But then at least I win some material, I think. Okay, I mean, when you have a chance to play a move like rook h7, I generally think that you should. <laughs> Queen a5, there's just bishop d2. And then if knight h7, queen c5 is mate. It looks pretty bad for him. This? But I can just go rook g7, no? Do I have something more convincing? Eh, who cares? This looks good. Do I have some fancy way here? Or should I just... Should I just protect my stuff? Yeah, let's just go bishop g5. If he takes, there's obviously knight h7 check. King g7, he can do it, but then... I can give a check on h5. Yeah, this is a decent try. I really want to go f4 here. Uh, then rook f6. Uh, let me see, rook f6 and king f2, a4, a6. Ah, it's not super convincing actually. Bishop c4, and he actually has time to. Go bishop d7 and then rook g8, which is a bit unfortunate. Otherwise, that would have been a nice way to wrap it up. <laughs> okay, I mean, who cares? I've started this game by sort of playing a bit nonchalantly, so I should just continue that same manner, I think. Okay, whatever. F four. King e two. Oh, okay. I think I think I should do this first to weaken his pawns a little bit further. And then rook h one. I mean, he has to take the bishop. Then I go rook h six. I'm gonna take an f six, and then I'm gonna win d four. And even though. Uh, there's opposite colored bishops. I mean, first of all, the position is really easy to play, which is good with limited amounts of time. Uh, but also, I think objectively, it should be more or less winning. So this is fine. I would say, at least practically, this is not a bad decision. Should I give a check first? I can go rook h7, be hyper accurate. Ah, that's unnecessary. Yeah, I have to be a little bit careful. Let's start pushing. Okay, unpin the bishop. Now bring the bishop in. There shouldn't be a lot of chances here to hold. Bishop d6, threatening rook e7. Yeah, you can't hold this. Yeah, it takes, and then f5. Moves the bishop. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't find the knockout there, but... We got Gorakomsky. The original FFL. I was actually watching that stream live, just randomly. It gave me a lot of joy. 
Okay, here I'll go G3 instead of E3, which I did the last time. Can I go Knight H4 immediately now? I guess not. Uh, eh, probably shouldn't ignore it. Gada is, of course, a connoisseur of London's, so he shouldn't be unhappy with playing these uh, st structures. As this is basically a London reversed. DE. Should I go 90? Nah, I'll just go DE. His bishop on c5 is potentially strong. I think I might try and reroute the knight here. I'm hoping that this bishop is going to be eventually out of play and that I have a slight positional edge. It does feel like I'm a little bit better. No, you know, either he has to go bishop d4, which gives me a potential strong majority on the king side, or he has to uh, to give up the bishop pair probably. I think my next move is probably knight c4. Not even taking the bishop. C4 fires a bit. It's a bit weak, and this bishop on h7 could end up really being out of play. Okay, so I think I'll take this. Now I'll go a4, just stabilizing the structure and gaining the square on c4 for the knight so that it can't be kicked away. And um, allowing this, but I'm not sure he does a whole lot. Not before, probably now. Knight c3. Knight c3, I don't like. I think the knight on c3 has mostly sort of cosmetic strength. I don't think it actually does anything. Should I go to g4? No, I'll just go to F1. This is actually not clear at all. But I'm liking the play against this bishop. Okay, let's go knight c4. You obviously can't take on e4 because of f3. Now this. Yeah, let's go f3. Just build up slowly. Queen f2. Tracking d4. Bishop f1. I, I don't like this rook though. It's a little bit out of play. Dominated by the knight. But apart from that, it feels like my position is a bit better. Mostly because of this bishop on h7, which really doesn't do much. f6, yeah, he's preparing to bring the bishop back into play. God is, of course, a very strong positional player, so he's aware of these considerations. So, I've changed plans, now I'm going to play for tricks instead. G5, knight d5, and so on. <laughs> now I'm thinking I'm playing against a very strong positional player who may miss tactics, so I'm going to try and do some nasty things. King h8, yeah, I think that's a good move. Okay, let's go h4. Hinting at h5. And now he's tempted to do this. 
I don't know if this is a good move, it's just with uh, the time as it is, it feels like the right moment to to go for it. So I'll take g4 is a positional threat. So let's go bishop. Okay, yeah, let's take first probably. It goes fg. Okay, but now I got this. Oh, that's, actually, oh, that's actually still not a big deal. It's a bit disappointing. Okay, let's go rook d1. Centralize some pieces. 93. Ah, this is not a high quality game. This is pretty poor. But, you know, that's how it goes. Okay, I think I should take, yeah. Just weaken his king a little bit. Not feeling this at all. Not feeling it. I think I'll win still. Check. Takes. Oh, bishop f3 would be pretty embarrassing. Okay, let's go bishop f5. Joby, I think he's going to be hit with one H4, isn't he? <laughs> okay, let's try and get a swindle in the last round. You know, one time for the boys. So we get a pawn off. Obviously now G6 can be met by H5. He doesn't care, he just plays normal chess. But now h4 is simply a useful move. Let's go rookie one, a3. Oh, this is just a good attacking move. Like I've been getting... I've been getting my best positions today with 1h4. Just no doubt about that. It's really inviting me to play d5. Not sure it gives anything now. Should we go queen d3? Why not? Aiming for bishop b1. I can also do this later. I don't understand h6. Oh, he's meeting bishop f4, bishop d6, that's his point. Okay, now I understand. Yeah, this is a good plan. This is actually a very good plan. Hmm. And yeah, I was intending 97, so I kind of have to act quickly. That's why I'm going 94. He takes. I take. Then if knight a5, well, that I didn't see. And I have to go gf probably. Bishop d2 and then bishop c3 maybe. Rook d8. I could also go d5 immediately, but I feel like this, yeah, but now I can take and go d5 and then probably a bit better. Also taking rook e4 is not impossible. should probably go rook e4 actually. Yeah.
Okay, d5, it's gonna go e5, I believe. If he takes bishop d5, I'm just clearly better with the two bishops. So e5, rook e1. But now we get f4, I think. Knight c5, and I think I'm super happy to sex the exchange. I mean, these bishops are super strong as well as this pawn pair. I think I'm just much better. Rook c8, yeah, he's trying to... This move is a little bit more annoying than I thought. Hmm. 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 Wait a sec. So bishop c4, he can still... Still sack. Okay, so I have to go f4 and sack bishop a3, king f2. Had to go there so there's no this, which he would have had in the case of king g2. I should still be doing well here though. This move. Feels just a tad slow to me. B5, now go D6. I feel like it's just losing the thread a little bit. So first of all, I got Bishop A5. I also got e6, bishop d6, maybe that's not so clear. So I think I'll do this. And if bishop, yeah, bishop b2, I would just take, but also here, yeah, I should just be winning. I'll go h5. Try and just uh, free up some pass pawns. Yeah, I guess this is a decent try, but shouldn't shouldn't help him much. These pawns are just too strong. And my bishop is also bishop is also good. Yeah, he had to do this, but this is pretty hopeless. Just take. Seven, bishop b1, d3, take b5 next. Pretty easy. And now we just push this pawn. Uh, wait a sec. King e4, I'm allowing king g6, so I should not do that. So let's go here and now. He just has no squares for his pieces. B6, I'm covering this one. And that's the end of the game. Okay, I think I finished with a decent or at least half decent game. I'm not unhappy with this one. Is he playing till mate? Maybe he is. It's fine by me. King c5. I would guess mate in 5. That's. or thereabouts. He has h5, which delays it a little bit. But that's okay. Playing Frederick Svana. Uh, younger brother of Rasmus, who's a uh, solid 2600 plus GM. And just, Frederick is becoming a very strong GM himself. There are Danes living in Germany. Queen of 6. Wowza. That was unexpected. What should I do now? Let's try and go for a safe move.
check. Yeah, I think that's the normal move. Here. Okay, and let's just develop. Shouldn't be too bad. Actually, it's pretty un unimpressive. Like d6 and bishop g4, maybe? Now we can maybe go bishop g5, question mark. Okay, let's go b4 first. Attack his pieces a little bit. Now bishop g5. Now I'm playing with the old well-tested strategy of just threatening stuff and then hoping something works. Ignore his moves and play my own game. Yeah, it's usually good. It's usually a good strategy in chess. And most other games. Should I keep the bishop or should I trade? If I attack ten something ten times, they'll make a mistake. Exactly. You're learning. Am I actually a good gamer? No. I only play chess. Oh, the viewers are back. Nice. Okay. Cool. Very good. I wasted a little bit of time Changing the um, title, but not too much. Should go bishop c4? No. No need for subtlety. I feel like I'm slightly better here. Play CSGO, chess sucks. Is that Elon Musk in the chat? He doesn't like chess. <laughs> that was probably Elon. Let's take it. If it takes the pawn, knight c4. Here. I'll go bishop c2, then bishop e3, maybe. My position is kind of unimpressive, to say. h3, then king h2, and f4. Now, Nepo is technically stronger than Magnus. Well, we don't ban people easily in this channel, but that sort of comment could put you over the edge. Okay, let's go for an attack. Oh, that was royally stupid. A, B, F4, I didn't see B, C3. Uh, I have to go with bishop b3 then, and cb. I'm playing pretty bad. Pretty badly in this game. Pretty, 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 pretty bad. Ban that terrible human being, yeah. Well, we are... We don't ban easily, but as I said... That was not good. Uh, but I'm still doing sort of fine. If he moves the bishop, I got d b5, knight d4, b6. Bishop d4, I got rook c1, and then b5 is a threat. This, however, hmm, I'm not sure I like this for him. Queen d6. It's funny that my king is just an h2 for no reason here. But apart from that, my position looks a bit better. I have the bishop pair. He cannot take the pawn because of takes and then bishop d6. And if rook d8, 
Uh, queen c7, rook d7, and then rook e1, I think. Oh, why am I pointing the adder instead of playing the move? Too much streaming. He clearly missed this one. What am I doing? Why didn't I just take... Ah, then queen before. It's actually... This is actually better. This is actually better. Not so easy to win. Okay, let's take it. Ah, uh, bishop e yeah, bishop e6, but... Hmm. No, it's not easy to win at all, actually. Should I go bishop e5 and then rook g6? No, then it's got... Hmm. I haven't played this perfectly. His knight is a little bit out of play. But I cannot quite trap it, can I? Rook b2, then he's got... Then he's got knight c1. Okay, let's... Do this, knight b3, rook c2. Try and dominate his knight a little bit. He's got rook d7 though. Okay, let's get the majority going. I mean, with... Uh... With an extra pawn and a very strong bishop, there are definite winning chances here. I'm trying to dominate the knight again. Let's push. Push again. Knight of seven. That's a bit annoying, actually. Ah, uh, running out of time. I think I gotta go for the rook ending. That was a mistake, now he's losing for sure. Ah, uh, playing too slowly. He had to check there first, I think. Now here, king goes to g6. But basically you had to put the queen on e3 there, if you hadn't blundered his, uh, his queen. I go for the Alapin. Playing Dubov, I think playing boring is a good strategy. Oh, he plays like this. It's basically transposes to a French now. You could go bishop d3, preventing bishop g4, because then there's bishop h7. Knight g6. I feel like that's not the most popular move, but probably it's a decent one. Does he go bishop g4 now? Then I can go h3, force the exchange of some pieces. Which should be good for the side who is playing against the isolated pawn. And in this particular game, that person happens to be me. Oh, I see why I shouldn't have done this. Oh, this is a mistake. Yeah, this was a definite mistake. Yeah, you can just go d4 now. Yeah. Oh, nameless bandicoot! Nice! We have another mod! Very good. Do buff. How on earth am I gonna win this? Not even remotely better here. Okay, let's trade. For half a second I wanted bishop e3, but then that wouldn't be ideal due to mate. We have another mod. Is this a personal record for the stream has to be, no? Just trading everything. Such a guy. I am the first one to occupy an open file with a rook. 
So technically I have a very tiny advantage here. But in reality it's of course nothing. I'm allowing him to mess up my pawns a little bit so that I can get the rook to the seventh with impunity. Like, I am very slightly better. One centipede advantage, yeah, exactly. And he's thinking, which I like. I like to make my opponents think. Four rook endings are drawn, yeah. They have even they have an even stronger draw drawing tendencies than two rook rook endings, but we trade off one rook. I guess that's good. Okay, let's go rook c seven, rook b eight. I don't think that's the way you should play. I go b four now. I could get chances. held a message for a reason, bullying, Hikaru is a crybaby loser, he isn't really though, so that's the problem with that statement. He isn't, just a very strong chess player and streamer. He's kind of messed this up. It's still really hard to win. Okay, let's go a4. I could have gone for rook b5 and try and win the pawn, but I wanna. I wanna bring the the king first. Yeah, he's not playing this end game well at all. Yeah, let's fix those pawns for now. Take away counterplay. Now I just think... I think I just win automatically, because he has zero counterplay. King here, but now... Oh, he, he can actually do that, okay. Let's move the king up. I think we can just activate the king for the win. Yeah, we don't even have to go king b7, I think. Just take the pawn. And now we push. Can even give up this one. And now we just take this for maximum safety. Okay, well, I asked you guys if you wanted an endgame lesson in the game we were watching earlier. And we didn't have time, unfortunately, but a lot of people said yes. And for those who said yes, you got one now, you know? This was an endgame lesson. Um, they saw the FIDA blitz list, so they paired me down. Yu Yang Yi is still a super tough pairing, but um, being paired down is a little bit funny. And to generalize a little bit more, all uh, um, or a lot of the Chinese players are playing the um, the Petrov. So. It's not a surprise to see that from him. Uh, what's the... Uh, this is, people don't really play this line anymore. It's black, so... 
Um, it's been a long time since I looked at it as well. Sup, goat. I slept with my brother-in-law's wife and the family is pissed. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> oh, I got some nice trolls here. Deleted by Automod. It's a shame. Now we can go C4. It takes... Takes the. I feel like achieving um, achieving C four here is probably good for me. Should go a bit of D two. Yeah, why not? I think B six. I'll take. Then put the knight on E five. I like sweets? That's a weird question. You should ask um <coughs> should ask Pushin Meow <laughs> the mod if you like sweets. <laughs> no like uh different meaning or anything. Just yeah. Sweets should you poison me with? Yeah, that is a good question. Huh. It's not playing B6 yet, which is a little, a little bit confusing to me. But I guess I will go for this. Should go knight e1. Queen e1, there's knight b3. Bishop e1, then my bishop cannot go to f4. All the moves have um, some little drawbacks. Thinking maybe rerouting the knight like this. And now I allowed b5, but is it any good? Wait a sec. Queen f3, bishop b1. Take on a5, d6, or d6 immediately, maybe? It's really complicated. But I can go d6 immediately there. Yeah, that looks interesting. Let's go for that. Oh, then... No, it's not so clear. My my knight on e1 is looking extremely silly. Um, that's making me a little less optimistic than I'd fully normally be here. Knight c4, bishop c4, and bc4, then bishop a5. At the very least, I have a lot of tricks. Got some hard hitting questions in, in chat, but I'm not gonna read all of them. Okay, now we have to take and then rookie two. Like positionally I'm doing pretty poorly, but I'm hoping for dynamics here. Okay, D seven. How exactly is it defending against rook E eight? I wonder. Oh, this is the point. But still, queen a8 is a threat. My bishop is really snug enough. One covering the king, I like that. And it could, could potentially go to c4, but it means that, unlike him, I'm never getting uh, background checkmate in here. c3, really? 
So bishop. Okay, queen d5, I'll try. Yeah, bishop g6, but now queen d6 wins on the spot. He was worried about bishop c4 stuff, but this one just decides it. Yeah, this is game over. He's not only like, he's just getting mated. That is his problem. Or that's one of the problems. Um, also because of the bishop on g6. He, he cannot even give up a lot of material to escape. Do it Pretty, uh, pretty tough opponent right there. Now, oh, is he gonna go for the King's Indian? Wowza. Or maybe the Grunfelds. Ah, oh, the Grunfelds. Didn't really have an idea of what line I was going to play here, though. Okay, let me go for uh, the classical Bishop e3. Why did I go two Knight of three? Wasn't even thinking. Some people are having a lot of fun spamming. But then again, why wouldn't they? Spamming is fun. Oh yeah, this is a line. Where you can actually allow white to take with the bishop, not... Yeah, this is a line people have been playing, I think. This is some kind of... Um, fairly forced, forced draw, if I remember correctly. Get some mods. Go to a different channel if you want mods. Maybe you are not supposed to go H4 immediately there. I prefer Anarchy. I most certainly do. I think you're supposed to, in a different line at least, go bishop g5 here. Because there aren't a lot of good squares for the, the rooks. Mm. Oh, bishop b5, no? Yeah, he doesn't want the old alpha 0, h5, h6, which is understandable. But the pawn is not... It's not great on h6 either, it could be a target there. Oh, so then he wants rook a5, okay, that makes sense. But anyway, after rook d5, I was intending to put the bishop on c4, so I'm not too unhappy about that. Uh, what should I do now? Should I castle or king e2? Hmm. I'm not sure I love my position here. Actually, I probably should castle. Yeah, my king could be pretty unsafe in the center, I think. B6 is a bit surprising to me. Well, he's allowing bishop E6, but that's clearly not very good. Maybe I should have gotten H5 earlier. It's all kind of hard to, to figure out this time. B5, okay, I'll go bishop d3, but I don't love my position, but as they say, you don't always have to love it, you just have to live with it. Knight d2, bishop a6, yeah, I don't really like this. playing that move. Getting a little bit outplayed by Mr. Duda here. Yeah, night before I was really worried about. Okay, a3. 
Really worried is a bit too much. I was worried. Mm, that's a good move. Preventing me from taking and then... Now he, his bishop finds a good square. Okay, that's, I have to go here to protect pawn on 93. Maybe not that much worse. Knight c3, bishop f3, then... Okay, he trades. But now I'm not sure if he has much. Okay. Don't know what he's doing here. Now I trade. No, I don't. Now I'm pushing. I think this passive should be strong. I'm not sure though. Oh, h5, I have a trick. Bishop h5, but now his pieces are pretty much still met. I think this, yeah, this just wins, and then d7. No, it doesn't. I missed something. Boy, this is a mess. Okay, now bishop, he was expecting d7, which would have won, but I thought I'd go here first, and then he flagged. Oh my fucking god. What a mess of a game. Uh, let me see, he goes e4. Does he want to open Sicilians? Let's see if he does. No, I guess he does. Don't think I want to play Sveshnikov against him. Oh, he goes for uh, the old school setup here. Air quality check, yeah, exactly. Wait a sec, now he goes to d4? Usually the knight goes to a3. So, like, if I play a normal setup, then I have a6 for free, but still white is a little bit better, so I guess why people don't play this as white is because I get d5, but that's maybe a little bit too... Yeah, maybe this is just a tad too dry. Should I go knight b4? No, it doesn't work. Yeah, this is a little bit dry. Oh, Asios is going? Good night. You did a hell of a job, as usual. Oh, Kamsky has five and a half, so it's probably not unhappy if, um, if he draws this one. Let's go bishop d6. Bishop d2 is a little bit, it's a little bit stiff, I would say. Let's go rook b8. Could potentially activate that rook. Oh, he goes takes and and then uh, bishop c3. Yeah, that's clever. It's a 
a little bit like a game we had earlier today, but in that game I was a tempo. Uh, sorry, I was a pawn up. Here, three equal pawns. Hmm. Thinking queen b6, but bishop e5 is a little bit annoying. Yeah, this position is pretty. Hmm. It's pretty boring. Okay, I'm about to take queen b6. I think I have to play like this in order not to be. Considerably worse. I think realistically I just have to play for a draw here. this yeah he's playing it well like he could have gone rook a5 earlier but then I get rook c6 with activity the way he does it now I'm just tied down okay let's go g5 so I can get this square for the king and then potentially activate the rook h3 is a little bit stiff Uh, that's a clever strategy. He knows I cannot really take a draw. But he's, as I said, like, it's not really improving. I think, I think I'm okay now. Like, I don't think I'm really worse anymore here. Uh, okay, let's... No, I don't think rook a6 is an issue, so just putting the pawn on a dark square. Okay, let's go f6 and rook c6. Now I've gained the open file, okay. Oh, I thought I could, yeah, I thought I could take an h3, but a6 is hanging, unfortunately. Okay, but I don't think I have a choice. Takes, king d6 back. This ending is rather double-edged. I mean, he does have the, he does have the connected pass pawns, but... My pawn seems to be seem to be just as dangerous. So I'll go here, push. And when he stops it with the king, I'll push the other one. Or maybe it's just better now. Ah, maybe I'm not. Bishop b7, what is bishop b7? I mean, he can go king e3, but then I get h2. h2? It's too complicated. d2? This has to win somehow. Yeah, king e3. Bishop g4, a uh, king e2, bishop g4, wins. What a mess. Okay, let's play d4. So this one is kind of a, um, kind of a big game. So 
I am to win this tournament. Oh yeah, that's right, he plays lines like this. Oh, this is the way he plays. I think he plays the positions after e4 and so on pretty well. So I'll just go e3. Just to give him a, a bit of a different look. C5, I can maybe go e4. Uh, e4 looks okay. CD, fine. <laughs> no talk now, let him concentrate. Indeed. Should I take on d4 or bishop e4? Bishop e4 takes knight c6. I kind of take back the pawn, so I guess I'll take like this. d6, ed. I'm not thrilled about what I've done here, but it seems okay. Knight on d6 is a little bit awkward, maybe. to put the bishop on e2 so otherwise I drop c4 but I think that's fine rook c1 and eventually I'm hoping to make something of this majority on the on the queen side okay, let's go queen c2 now maybe queen a4 Am I running into g5 stuff? No, I don't think so. Let's go queen f4. I don't threaten to take on um, on a7 at the moment, but I was hoping was hoping that the queen would be better on c2 and that if he plays the bishop to e4 then he does have the same I my position my pieces are placed the same way as they were three moves ago but he cannot put the knight in e4 anymore which means that b4 is a pretty um uh pretty considerable positional threat uh Let's go B4 now. See knight D3? I guess it does. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, it's really annoying. Now I don't have much at all. Should be two. No, not really. Yeah, then I don't really have anything at all here. Hmm. I give up c four, but I get queen d seven with a double attack and. 7 and e7, so I'm still still fine, but I'm not I'm not better. And winning the game will not be easy. I'm not sure this was an improvement for him.
This is a bit tense now. Yeah, I was kind of bluffing that he could he could take on on um, d1 and c4. I don't, I'm not sure if I was better there, but I was thinking he probably wouldn't want to do that. Queen exchange seems just a tad panicky to me. Don't think there was any reason to do that. It is still completely fine, of course. Yeah, there really isn't all that much to hope for here. Takes, takes, rook d7. I don't know. At least I'm making him calculate a little bit. And I'm hoping, like, I was hoping to get bishop f4 there. He's really spending a lot of time now. Yeah, this is pointless. Problem is I cannot do anything about the pawn on on C four really. Okay, now he's it's giving me the H file as well. Oh, I have some hope. Check. B seven. I'm winning B five. Tricky guy, he's hoping for f4. Oh, I cannot take. Push. He's panicking now. Okay, big win. You look like a yoga, the yoga teacher that my wife is having an affair with. Now that I can get behind. Now this one, huh? Let's go F3. Immediate bishop E6. People go knight D5 here, no? If you have that man bun as a uh, taunt to Nepo and then you play poorly intentionally, that's just cruel. Yeah, I agree. I wish I had that kind of nasty in me. I don't know why I took. I just didn't want to allow Bishop G5. I look like an employee at a health food restaurant that se sells $17 acai bowls. Now that... That I like. Dude. I'm usually the one who makes those blunders. Manus is starting a new trend for women of how to put up their hair for blowjobs. Funny. Funny guy. Um, I'm giving up. I'm giving up the pawn on B3 because why not? Just trying to think of how to defend it and then. I thought, yeah. 
Yeah, but when I put this here, I don't threaten queen d4, which is kind of the point of this. No one even sent that message. Uh, no, it was Automod actually censored it. That's why I didn't read it. But I like to read the, the messages that Automod doesn't want you to see. Nah, I'm not gonna read this. Naroditsky said I must clean my room. Well, it's not my room. It's, it's only the room that I stream from. Meanwhile, this game is none too exciting. I just blundered a fork on C2, but didn't really see it. Okay. Last time I played E4, yeah, and he played the Sicilian. Actually won a nice game against this guy. The Berlin, really? Okay. Let me play something really boring then. Just gonna, gonna outplay him with really, really simple means. Sure, more interesting than a rookie one Berlin. Rookie one in Berlin is pretty interesting. It's for the real connoisseurs. Darda is the best junior in Europe, really? He did really well in the, um, in the European Championship. It's clearly very good. Now I'm just like pushing the pushing the pawn to to uh, pushing the pawn to a5 and pretending it's real achievement. Well, it probably isn't. Azios is back. Yes, boys. There we go. Ooh la la! Already playing a GM. Yeah, this is something completely different. I'm thinking after rookie eight, I might just. Chuck my queen. Why not? Seems to me to be good content. If he moves the queen, I take on b7, then I push a6 and try to get a7. Let's say he goes queen d6, I got rook e8, take the queen, then knight b7, and if bishop g5, I had knight c5 back, bishop c1, and then bishop d3. Holding on to the pawns. Now I think at least from a practical perspective, he's risking more than than I am. Best content. Yeah, but the thing is, like, these comments, like, when people say that they do things for content, like, it's usually a bit disingenuous. Like, I never would have sacked the queen if I didn't think it was a good move. Or, uh, I, or let's say that I wouldn't have sacked the queen if I thought it would drastically reduce my, um, my chances in this game. So now I just want to do this, maybe b4 next, then maybe b5. And it's all about this pawn on a7. Uh, b4 is interesting, okay, let's just go. Got knight d6 as a bit of a threat. Uh, it's not so easy. Okay, let's go knight d6. Can't be wrong. It's gonna go bishop d2, I think. Maybe I have too little here. I was sort of banking on rook e7 next. And even though we trade a bunch, like... a7 is still terminally weak. Could have taken on h4 as well. It didn't seem didn't seem convincing. Like he activates the queen and then I never really get to a7, I think. Yeah, g5 is a good move. D7 maybe? A7 can go bishop c4, 
I don't think that's a perpetual. Okay, let's see. Check. Yeah, this is definitely not a perpetual, but how can I make serious progress? That's a question. So let me see. Yeah, F3 doesn't work. Okay, I'll just go here then. Queen A2. Okay, then we'll make a waiting move. And Bishop. I can go with Rook F7, but that doesn't actually do anything. Oh, but I can go here. Now king g2, and he has no checks. Take, and bishop d5, and we win. Okay, just a um, pretty strong opponent here. Has the finger out for both the gear and the Yeah. We've got a stiff Petrov now. Just um, why does it voluntarily go back? That's something similar against Report and Tata. Like F3 and then G4. Grab some space. Uh, similar minds. Oh, that's good. Let us hope that an Alcantara scooter. I like it, thank you. Nice. I don't know why I went d5. Probably over ambitious. Had to stop bishop h4 now. Knight goes to e5. I wasn't particularly worried about that one. English only, USA. And now what? Okay, let's go B3 first. Always seems to be useful. Guess I'll trade off his strong knight. <sighs> Keep missing these little tactics. Yeah, if I take. No good. Okay, let's go G5 then. Ah. It's really annoying. It's just a very clean blunder. I definitely had a good position there. Sacks the exchange. It's a strong sack, but it's not like it's immediately decisive or anything. But I'm definitely worse, I would say. Especially practically speaking. Maybe B4 was not. I mean, you can go bishop c3, but then. I trade off a few pieces and I'm definitely not worse. Like his potential here is all connected to this very strong bishop. Okay, we'll go knight g4. I'm happy with the trade of his bishop versus the knight. This one, yeah. Knight f6, he takes a knight e8. And rook e4. Look at this, that's me. Also, potentially, I could just chop off the bishop in some lines. Hmm, okay, that was an annoying move. But now I can go knight f6, and I can protect the pawn with rook f4 later. I think he missed this. This and this. 
one. I was not particularly worried about this. Seems that I get counter play here. Rookie seven, let's go. Take it. Rookie seven. He's completely lost the thread here. Wait a sec. If I take this, rook b7, threatening his rook. Yeah, but this check does nothing. Can even take an h5, I think. Just take this. And this should be plain sailing. Just suck the pawn. Yeah, okay. Bishop d7, and then c7. What a mess. Made him two. Now we get Jordan. Jordan, that's not a good opponent when you're um, when you're kind of blundering everywhere. Let's see what he does against some stiff theory. Oh, is this how people play? This is somewhat similar to... Uh, somewhat similar to those other theory lines. With the bishop on d3. But then, I have the bishop on h e3, but not the pawn on... The question is, who does that favor? Not the pawn on h3. Who does that favor? I have no idea. Huh. I just want to play something relatively simple here. If I queen d nah, I'll go for this. I see that Kasparov is the best, was banned. Is that purely because of the name or something that person said? I obviously support it regardless. <laughs> Oh, racist, okay. Makes sense. Don't think I have anything here whatsoever. Hoping to get some bishop f4. There's definitely some strategic potential for me here. But I don't think it's, it's too great. Oh. Wanna go rook a3? I mean rook c1 first, but it's not strictly speaking necessary, but over protection seems Seems nice. Okay, so we protect e7. Oh, sorry, a7 makes a lot of sense. Guess I'll go f3. What is his intention with this move? He wants to go h6, huh? Let's go rook c3 and then rook b3. This looks like a good move. Don't think I'm wondering anything. He's under serious pressure now. No, I think I take an a7. Take an a b6 and now d6 is hanging as well. Yeah, let's just take. Take, knight e4. Rook c6. The end should be 9. For the night. Seven, this seems the most technical. Rook c8 and rook c7, and just win the pawn ending. I 
Okay, this was nice. This was a very decent strategic game. Where did everybody go? Yeah. We're taking requests for one minute. Oh, Gareth Bale. Oh, Bishop F4. What a fancy move. Oh, probably castling was stupid. I think that was actually really stupid. Yeah, this was really dumb. Now I'm kind of worse. Queen F3? Really, huh? Eh? Shortest song of all time. Yeah. I'm not sure his queen is doing that much on F3. Six is a little bit dumb. Would have preferred it somewhere else to. Okay, let's break. I don't love this move, but I just. Uh... I just gotta open up the positional limit, otherwise I cannot think. And now I hope to use my tactical talents to trick this Armenian boy. Who is this about? Like? Oh, Garabian. No, Garabian is really good. This ain't gonna be easy. Do Knight of Six is not possible, so I guess I gotta take this one. Do I go to b6 or... What's I go to f6? For those who are wondering whether I'm uh, pawned down with uh, little discernible compensation, you are correct. Okay, let's go to d7. Time push b5. I don't care about this pawn. No fear! He just takes my pawn. So maybe I take this one instead. Oh, I see now my intention didn't work at all. Okay, so now we're taking requests for one minute. Play Sandstorm. Oh, did you uh, finish sub only mode already? No, no. Oh, Asios uh, suggest Asios suggested uh, Sandstorm. And it's the only suggestion, so. Yeah, it looks like it's happening. Oh, he's playing so well, this guy. But I don't give up hope. Do, 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 do. I'll go here. And then I will sack my bishop. This. And then probably take an a2. And I threaten this. And in practical play, at the very least. Position not so easy. Do, do, do. Uh, Nameless Bandicoot is playing Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, we're getting another mod? No, 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 no. It's oh. just uh, oh, uh, from playing. Steve. What is he playing? He's playing Hogwarts Legacy. Oh. Have you played it? No, never. Maybe we should do Hogwarts Legacy stream. We might as well. Mm 
Oh, he's gonna go to c5, that's clever. So I gotta give a check, then take the pub. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, it's back. It's back. I know that people can't chat right now, but I can tell that they've missed us. I have a sixth sense, so I can go rook c2 and win his queen. Probably the best option that I have. I'm not sure that I can win afterwards, but I have some chances at least. Queen f2. No, I don't think that works. Okay, I gotta go for this. Uh, okay. Rook c3. Probably rook e2 now. Yeah, logical. Let's give a check. He's also short on time, so I'm trying to make it as difficult as possible for him. <laughs> Rookie 4 is very good. Uh, if he'd played uh, King G3, there was Queen D6 winning on the spot. Okay, I think we've got to push. Oh, this one I don't think works. No, 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 no this does not work. Now I have a2, and the queen is going here. Yeah. Okay! Tough game! Oh, oh. Subs off. Oh, emotes only, emotes only. Bishop d6. I blue bomb played this line. I thought he was the only one. It's a good line though. I don't see any way I could get anything close to an advantage against this one. But I haven't actually studied it. This is just so solid for black. Very healthy. Okay, let's just play normal jazz. Nothing too fancy here. We're back with the queen. Because if he got knight g4, I would have got knight c4. Now I'll go knight c4 anyway. Probably withdraw the bishop. Then I will go h3, prevent this. This. I thought it was a blunder, knight e5. 92, 92. Uh, then I get the knight to c3. I think that's overall slightly favorable to me. 92. Bishop f4, rook c3, rook c5, and knight c3. This rook is a little bit funny. First one to send a song request to DJ at maskinist.com yeah. gets a uh, gets song request played. No mails yet. They're slow. They're slow? It means that people want more sandstorm. They want that is the only way I can interpret it. Yeah. I mean, it's heartwarming to see, though, that people have the same enthusiasm for a sandstorm yes. that we have. It's the perfect uh, audience. Only sandstorm lovers. Should we uh, say from now on people have to pledge allegiance to sandstorm before... Uh, before subbing to the channel? Yeah, so we're gonna allow subs only for, uh, for sandstorms. 
By the way, his position is pretty, pretty, pretty equal. And we have the first uh, summer vest, Armani White, Billy Eilish. I really have no advantage for Cherry on. I only have bad guy, but it's gonna be enough to come second time. My boy Bakotov is playing really solidly in this game. A5, now he's getting a bit too fancy. Continue to push, take some space. In reality, this is just equal. Rookie eight is a good move. I think C four A four is just. Yeah, most people ask me to request Sandstorm. Only Sandstorm, Sandstorm, play Sandstorm. Yeah. Thank you, Nick Maxwell. We're getting a lot of love for Sandstorm. That's yeah. good to see. We even have a PvE request. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I just have absolutely nothing here. I'm just moving around pretty aimlessly now. That's a good one. Thank you, Thomas. He's getting short of time, though. Oh, I'm getting some advantage now. Oh, you could have got Ricky to win. Not so easy to make progress. Okay. Okay, let's go here. I'm just uh, baiting him to play this move. I didn't see this. Did not see Rook there. Okay, this is going to be pretty hard to win. But it's short of time. Okay, push it. My man is collapsing just a bit. Oh! I didn't see that this was his idea. Okay. Let's go back for the rook. I don't think he can hold this though. Yeah, no, it's just winning. Okay, big technique for the boys. That was a tough game. Um, Gonna be even better later. Okay, we got one a six. By the time this tournament, we're trying over, to make ten out of eleven with one a six. Yeah. By the time this tournament is over, this stream is gonna be really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, there it is. Yes, around Jim.
Go ahead, ban some people. Just for fun. What is he doing? Why is he attacking me so savagely? Hmm. Almost there. Are you a drink? No, I'm not a drink. Can others just <laughs> Okay, let's go Queen B6 there's, maybe. Uh, there's a lot more pizza, by the way. Yep. What is he doing? Why is he giving me... Problem is, I have such a safe, nice and safe alternative with... Nah, fuck it, I'm just gonna take the pawn. Oh, it's an interesting line. This, this, queen before back, castles, f6, knight d5 wins. Rook c8 is mate. It's actually not so easy. Where's the missing cable? Hmm. I should stop stalling and just play. There's just one cable between the chat and Sandstorm right now. I thought you were name were you were known as Cablewood. The cable, yeah. <laughs> but I haven't been responsible for cables in years, so I've completely lost it. You're not uh, cable uh, responsible at this no. house. No, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Cable responsibles. This should work for me. I spend humongous amounts of time. I don't think this particularly works. Oh. Oh. Nasty. Didn't see that at all. I think it would be, no. Actually, maybe I think it would be fine. See if the cable will open. What? Mm. No, it's just not so easy now. Bring, bring us some RCA cables, that would be... Mm. Okay. Yeah, B5, Queen, B8, 3. I like that so much. But I, I don't love this either. No, I don't think this is a good move. Okay, so I go rook d8. Where's the music? I'm looking for the cables. Oh, wait a minute. Uh... Now b5. No, rook d8 is better. This is very complicated. Too complicated for my liking. <laughs> I'm probably not even better. In a three, oh. Yeah.
No, this is just completely unclear. Take this. Right here. Right to H4. G6, I still got knight F5 and I'm safe. I should be able to win now. Okay, step up with the king. Yeah, now I got a huge positional advantage as well as a, as a material one. Oh, I love this check. That was not necessary. Let's go over here. Mm, I just got no time. My king is really safe. These two, and now my pawn queens. Oh, I got had knight f5. What a shaky game. Be for okay. I'm just looking for the cables and I have it on the screen. I was in chat to help me. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. We just get a pretty normal position there. Hmm, let's take, why not? Hmm. Oh, I found the cables, there they are. The mystery of the lost cables has been solved. Oh, tell me fucking Shelby. That's going to be a ban. This is a competition for the mods. The first one to ban. The first one to bod, ban Tommy fucking Shelby will get um, a free slice of pizza Ooh. from uh, this pizza. Delivered by. We're going to sell the rest of the pizza on eBay. Oh, that would be fun. Sign pizza. <laughs> yes, boys. Jeff timed out Tommy fucking Shelby. Jeff, you're the lucky winner of um, some pizza. <laughs> we got him twice. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we're going to deliver the pizza. Signed. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Now the question is, can they help us? Because it has some filters on. So if we do it like this, and we can remove the filters after it runs. <laughs> okay. Where are my plants here? I don't see any plants. I'll go here then. 
randomly pop my knight to f5. And then what? There's no follow up. Do -do 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 -do. I just have to put mine out on h4. What? This is dumb. Oh, d4 is also. Hmm, d94 and d3, d3, 5. Ah, it doesn't look so bad. Sack. Um, uh, yeah, let's go 95. I gotta play a bit faster and better. So, some sound advice coming here. I'm not sure I can hear the sound, but we'll fix it. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Not even focusing? No, this is mostly a uh, DJ stream. Mm -hmm. Magnus, if you're ever in Krakow, blah, blah, blah. Why would I ever be in Krakow? I'm just kidding, Krakow is probably nice. I just got Queen B8. Such a luck. Oh, can I actually trap his rook? Bishop a5 and then bishop d7? I think I can. Oh, he's got queen e5. Why did I do this? Overthinking. Oh, wow, this is actually some nice geometry that I'm saved by here. Now bishop is c8 and then queen a6. And I save the bishop. I'm not better, of course. But Vincent is not so good in scrambles, so maybe I can swindle him. I mean, practically, I'm playing for win here for sure. Who is it and why is this pizza got drunk? I got it delivered like this. Do, How do, 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 do. Pizza? Oh, I got a move faster. What am I doing? Oh, Bishop B7 is a blunder. Let's go here then. Nah, what am I doing? I don't think I'm winning this. I'm probably not losing it either. Ah, I'm gonna try and lose. Thank you. 
I'm just running with the king. That's what I said. He's terrible in scrambles. Like he's a, an amazing player, uh, but he's terrible in scrambles. Does not. Once again. Explain, please. Oh, he plays like this. Rasmus Svana, really good. Oh, I'm paired up. This means I gotta win. Uh, oh, he plays like this. Boo. Boring. This is not a good line. But whatever. Whatever. Yep, not great. Little trick. This only means that I'm okay. Never better. Puma, ever going to restock your Clydes? Yeah, I hope so. They're great. And people seem to really like them. I can go another five. Tell bro on the music to still to start moving. That's a first time chatter. Sounds like a band to me. That's a band. Oh, we got a good one. Got some Gunter hair, very good stuff. I am looking for some kank. Maybe top 10 artists of all time. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, what can I play here? F5 maybe? Or is this just weakening for no reason? I feel B5. Now I'm just making random active looking moves. That's how much. Can I get one please? Yeah, please ban. Yeah. Ban him. Where are the mods? Better mods only job to ban people that ask for escorts. Oh, I'm not responding to emails. Sorry, I think. Ah, this is such a boring game. This game in particular, not the game of chess, which is great. Ah. What? It's gonna go bishop g5. My level is not so high today, unfortunately. Ah, this is so dull. How can I even spice this up? Oh, the team of Jaws. Okay, I'm going for something really risky here now.
this is actually just stupid, but... Why is he doing that? Uh, Bishop c3, I think he missed. And this I missed. Ugh. Why? Oh, this is insane. Why did I do that? I don't know, it's actually not so bad. But it's not like it's ever giving me winning chances. Oh, this is a good one. I know what's coming. Why is he allowing this? Trying hard to lose. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Okay, but he's doing he's playing terribly. Straightforward win. Rook to one. Lols. <laughs> I mean, these games are so bad. Yeah, We're gonna go C4 now. No more of this bullshit. We play solid openings now. Oh, Bishop B4. Five. I didn't think this line was so good. Should go e three now, or you go d. Maybe you go d six, d three, h six, and then e three. I don't know. Looks like. What to do now? The beat almost sounds like the yes boss, uh, yes boy song. That must be it. Oh boy. Can't wait to hear. Uh, okay, I gotta play faster. What am I doing? Just trying to make him think about moves like 
I gotta play G4 at some point. Basically playing a bit of a waiting game right now. This I completely missed. Rook FD1 is uh, like an amazing problem-like move to allow this tactic. It's still not terrible though. You can go bishop d4, yeah, she does of course. Still cannot take because of the stupid... Uh, did I have... no, I was thinking if I had g4 but I didn't. No. Okay, let's go b... b5, create some counterplay. No. We finally have to go G4, I think. Is he thinking about E4? What is he doing? I think we just gotta go trades. I mean, C, D, C4 is an option, but I don't think it's particularly attractive. Queen 2 Really just... Trying to stay afloat. As per usual. He may not have needed to allow this, but I'm sure it's still fine for him. There are some slight issues though. This is incredible. Knight e5. Oh, maybe I got rook a1, preventing rook a8. That's actually... Oh, but he can still just take and take on b5. Oops. Guess I gotta go d4 then. This is not ideal. Pretty far from it, actually. Wait a second. D4 with the unit. Queen goes to. Yeah, I think. It's fine. So, rook F1, and if bishop D3, I got 91. That's what I'm talking about. If he has to take or e4, I'm just better. Oh, he goes for this? Why? What on earth is he doing? What the fuck is this? He's probably just losing now. And not completely lost. Uh, I think I should just take this one. Yeah, let's go with the five one. This is mildly annoying. I 
minus four. I'm fairly well coordinated now, so I should win. This so should be one, it's creative. Is it any good? I tend not to think so. Bishop d6, you actually found that. It's annoying. So let's go back. Check, and I blocked with the bishop. I should win now. Uh, rookie five. Uh, he has no threats now, so that should be okay. C7. That's a bishop. His only hope is some kind of stalemate. I do not intend to allow. Oh, that's mates. Okay. Ah, uh, we got other mates out black. That was expected. Okay, now we got uh, the other oh. side. Yeah. As soon as you make your first move, we gotta slide it in. Okay, we gotta try and win with a6 here. Oh, he goes a3. Boo. Lame. Oh, this is so good. Ooh, what a song. Is that a new thing, the Bishop E5 uh, stuff you're playing? It seems to happen in every game now, huh? Yeah, it does. <laughs> It has been heard on this channel before. My position is not really that good. That has to be said. We can turn it around. It's GG like GG. We're Norwegian, we're pronouncing it in our own language, even though we're speaking English. Yeah. Please ban whoever said that. Yeah. Anyone that tries to correct us? Yeah. Right in the ban. Next person to write GG with a J. It's also banned. Yeah. What is Alareza doing? He's playing a bit passively. They probably also say gift instead of gift. Oh boy. Ah, that's horrible. Rook B8. Four is an excellent move. Unfortunately. Ah, how do I play now? Thank you. 
Take or three to six. I mean, a draw is not a disaster in this game, but I'm not so happy. I mean, if it ends up being a draw, which is pretty far from uh, certain at this point. He's really going for G4? That's insanely risky. Should I go G5 maybe? I think I can go G5. Okay, maybe this is not actually that bad for me. Ah, and then he goes for... Then he goes H4 later on. This boy is too clever. Too clever for me and for his own good. That's the best version. This is now extremely complicated. Okay, let's go H5. Create some counterplay. So see, bishop c5, king g6. Oh, he's got bishop e7 as well, which is super annoying. Well, I can go rook c7, I forgot about that. Oh boy. I'm so clutch in the scrambles today. Like I'm playing terribly most of the game, but then I'm winning all the scrambles. Maybe only from. Uh, we got one B3. Um, uh, I'm, I'll uh, get the ice cream if I win. Yeah. Car got Fabiano. Okay. Yeah, some big pairings. Oh, this is what I had against Dubo. I somehow thought that I was better here, though. Like, very slightly at the end. Let's see if uh, Big Bogdan 
thinks he can draw this ending as well. Not so sure about c5. He gives up the d5 square. I mean, it's logical to put the pawn on dark square, but I'm not convinced. I'll go f4 and king f2. Keep the king in the center. A5. I'm not sure he's playing this too well. Bishop c6, bishop f3. Now I think I have a very pleasant edge. I think I'm pretty happy to trade off everything. As they say, knight endings are the closest to pawn endings. And with in a, in a pawn ending, I would effectively have an extra pawn because he cannot create a pass pawn and I can. That's the advantage of double pawns or playing against double pawns. <laughs> Magnus bans me instead of spammers. Tell me fucking Shelby says. <laughs> Apparently, he needs to be banned again. Is he back? Is yeah, he's back. Again? Knight b2, he's gonna go f5. He can go f5, so then it's a big question whether I go for a5. Should we allow that message from Tommy to Michelle You coward. Yeah, we should allow that. Yeah, click allow. Or once can click allow. <laughs> yeah. You can also go knight d3 and then b6 a5. Forcing what I think should be a favorable trade. But I really want the pawn on a5 though, so I think I'm just gonna go there. Now I'm gonna bring the king around. And I think he just gave me a pawn for no reason really. I think this ending should be winning or close to winning for me. I can probably give up some pawns, but I don't think I need to. I just want knight a4 and then knight c3 to kick his knight away from its dominant post. And then eventually start improving my position. Then I can go e4 later. That should win. Also, I did. There are open squares on the um, queen side, like a4, so I don't think he ever gets a proper blockade there. Okay, he trades. Now, now he has achieved something that it is indeed somewhat harder for me to create a pass pawn over there, but. He's fighting pretty well. Gotta give him that. Go with the knight to e3. Okay, gotta create the pass pawn over here. I 
Yeah, now G4 wins, I think. Because I, I have a spare tempo. Yeah, this I think wins. Yeah. Yes, boys! Yes. Let's go! That was a nice calculation at the end, no? We got a premium A5. And then we're gonna play a French. A5 is a good move in the French, no? Should be fine. And then B6. Oh, and now I'm allowing this. That was uh, none too clever. Do, do, do. At night, Bob, but your mom is weak and slow? That's a terrible insult. It's not impressive. Do better. I think my position is not so bad. Queen d3 maybe? Oh, this one. So I was not so worried about. Oh, why did I, I didn't realize it was going to take with the knight. Castle, I think my king is fairly safe over here. Yeah, my position is actually not great. Shockingly, but I'm trying to improve it. Knight h4, that's expected. So the king g1, yeah. Okay, I'm hinting at g5 maybe. Does this work? I'm not sure. This, 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 this. Knight moves, knight of five. You can take on g5, but that's not too clear. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. So this maybe I put a sign. Even Queen C8 is interesting. Queen C8, Queen G4, G5, then H5. No, I should probably just go G5. Maybe. Yeah, it's a sack. Now we got a very interesting position. Should I keep the rook? I'm not so sure. Okay, let's try and activate the queen. This position is very complicated. I feel like I should be fine, but it's probably a bit easier to play for white.
What's the matter with that? Why? No, I still have to avoid that. Okay. It's king g, queen g4, and I king c7. I think I, get, I need to get the queen on this diagonal. I'm trying to keep his knight from being active at the moment. Now this may be a threat. Queen e4 is possible, but maybe not great. I think I gotta go for it. Yeah, I can go take on. Yeah, I don't like just going for the pawns. So this is a little bit slow. Queen d4, king h3, queen h3. No, I can't really do that, so I gotta try and keep control for now. I'm not sure I love his knight on g5 though. He's trying to untangle a little bit. I think the queen can go here fairly safely. No, I think I should go up. No, this should lose. Too easy. I think Bishop D two was a good move. Knight of seven, King here. Yeah, but now he just has a couple of checks. So. After I start running, he's gonna lose. So. My king just escapes. Now I just take. I did two and I win. Tough game. Really, really tough. So that means we're paired up. Let's play the King's Gambit. Because why the hell not? I never played the Bishop C4 line. I only tried Knight C3 and Knight F3. Seems legit? Yes, indeed. Did this? Did I see the Saudi offer to Mbappe? No, sorry, I've been living under the, the, a rock the last few days, and um, I don't know. Vash, Mestera, no, no Swedish in this chat. Sorry, that's gonna be a ban. Let it clear it. For its sense, can also up. Yes, I agree. We're generally not pulling people based on nationality, but we'll make some uh, exceptions. Minus, I checked uh, get your games in database. You played Bishop C, Bishop C four before. Is that the smart ass? No, it's a ban! Oh my fucking god, I just blundered a bishop. <laughs> uh, that's embarrassing. Oh boy. We're gonna fight on though. 
King's Gambit with a red gun and King's Gambit. That bishop got banned. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> We're gonna fight on though. <laughs> but how? Why didn't I just not plunder it? Yes, indeed. What do you do when you're a bishop down? Just play normal. Try and reroute some pieces. My guy is spending a lot of time though. I just play position mode. Why is he spending so much time? I can also put knight c3 maybe? We blundered a b bishop on move six, but we're uh, trying to fight back. Does this actually work? Damn, there's mate on h4. What a tricky beast. If we can fight on like this, no? But this is a good practical choice by him. Let's trade, bishop g5. My position is so lost though. Hard to even improve it. What the fuck? Uh, there must be something wrong with this connection. He has four bars. We're going to go with a5. e6. We're looking at oh, a4. Come on, play serious chess. Now you cannot play a3. Do 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 That's okay. Not too bad. Oh, c5, bishop d2, maybe a problem. Let's go knight e7 then. He does this still. Will it take now? Can I go b6? Takes with a pawn, interesting. 
Mm, that doesn't work. Okay. He's getting dangerously short of time now. So I just got to get him a little bit shorter and then go for something. Oh, I have to take. Okay, but now, now his position is getting a bit. Oh, my fucking. Oh, I have this. That's so lucky. What a mess. right now. I see six is going to be a pre move. And then a five. Why is he playing? I feel like I played this against him before. Is this theory? I can't think. This pin, pin looks very unpleasant. I'm just tilting away this tournament now. You see the theory right here? Very constant special. Yeah, it's also tilting away the tournament is very special. The Alpha Gambit, Dimitri plays it? No, this is not the Elephant Gambit. But if he plays this line specifically, that's pretty unlucky. It doesn't look that bad, no? Take back. But you should know it's not so bad. <coughs> Got some good trolls in chat. Where is that? Castles, knight g6, e5. No, knight did shake to knight f7. That is not good. Let's go here then. Colors Rado Gambit. Yeah, not so bad. Not such a bad pun. Mm. 
Green goes back. Do I think I can still improve at chess? Yes, but you know, I'm still terrible. You know, I'm better than other humans, but still pretty bad. Uh, why is he doing this to me? I don't know why I do that. I'm sort of completely lost interest now. I missed this as well. Why did I have to go on absolute mode of tilt now? some minor chances maybe yeah it's gonna get it's gonna get the night in unfortunately and then it's princess seven as well yeah no chance F4? Now I have hope. A little bit at least. Oh no, I should not. Queen D4, Queen D2, there was Queen E6. This is just inertia. It's moving his pieces to somewhat strange squares. I'm not sure if it really matters. Let's keep an eye on this route. He's struggling a bit to convert this. Now he brings the knight. Some rain. What's he doing? Placing these pieces on weird squares again. Okay. Take it. No, why did I take that one? That was so moronic. Let's go here.
G3, I think H5 is the proper reaction, yeah? Uh, okay. Yeah, Twitch didn't like my um, my OnlyFans threats, so they um, blame Twitch. D7, seems reasonable, right? F5, I go D5, I have good development. Ah, oh, this is a great song. Okay, we're continuing in Gambit style, of course. It should be doing reasonably here, but his pieces are not too well placed. Six, maybe. Can you kicking his queen a bit. Like this, queen is six, is that fast? Shapes. D6. D5. Looking pretty good. The famous Sandstorm. I'm, by the way, completely crushing in this position. Oh, this? Does this work? This has to work. Oh my god. Did it just find a brilliant defense here? Push that five. So disappointing if I'm not putting on the phone. I don't think I have. No, it is. It is winning. I'm getting all worked up now. Open now. Six. Making this way too complicated. In my head. Also, like, if you've done G4, I could. Sorry, G4, I could. 
and uh, Jake's take 58, 58, 94. I got 51, 94. But now this is Cerrado. I mean, I got 96, I got 93. Um, what haven't I got there? I mean, 1960, so I want to make. Nice! Okay. Hey, Magnus, tell that guy on your left to get out of here. He's boring. Wow. Well, that's not what, what your mom told me last night when I was on her left. That's the band? Yeah, that's the band. Uh, does Liam actually know this stuff? I hope not. I was just yeah, telling the guy you're right to get out of there. Well, somebody has to well, play the game. And yeah. it's not allowed to let other people play on your account. Fuck face. Learn the rules of society. Um, should I change things? Okay, one last song song before we have the final song with yeah. the secret. Yeah, big secret. Yeah. You can't reach this position against Ronard. No, you can't say that. That's uh, giving advice. Yep. And this is a big, important last uh, last round game. So please, no such shenanigans. Is this thing? 94. This is not the final part. <laughs> yeah, I can't see what's wrong with it. Is that like a Latin Sicilian defense? Vitamin? Defense? It's named after Christopher Vitamin, the famous drum player who was at the famous Mashtin, where they, uh, <laughs> you know about the drum yeah. Mashtin, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, but you know, he, he's actually a member of Oppenstein, uh, or he was, at least. Oh. He, uh, yeah, he registered, uh, on the, back on the first day. Uh, okay, maybe we seven to reply to this before we reply with it.
That is why Asios and ZJ rating is so high. Because it's transition time. That's game over. So we are at least there first. Okay, so I did beat this guy with one H five last time, so I think I should go one H four. B six, oh, B six. I think E four is a decent response. And uh, yeah, VIPs counts as subs. That's why Chesper could comment. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so this like in the corresponding line with reversed colors. I think um, the the thing is like there's some f five line, and then the queen is coming to h five, but or in this case h four. But with the pawn on h four, that is not that is not a problem. I think I can go e5 now, also bishop, a, sorry, bishop h g2, fails to rook h2, which is you know, brilliant foresight, I would say. Um, this looks bad. Takes, takes, queen g4. Okay. And once again, I mean, bishop g6 runs into h5. <laughs> this 1h1h1 one one form move is just brilliant. Like in every single line here after b6 e4, I would guess after b6 e4 white is probably a bit better. Or at least not even close to being worse. So I think he chose like the only reasonable move where h4 is actually very good. So maybe, you know, this guy is actually not the OP Aryan that everybody thought he was. Maybe Aryan is the OP Aryan. OK, 
Okay, let's capture Bishop G5, I think. So now my plan was to take um, take an e7 and then start harassing his bishop. Is that a good plan? If I go start harassing it immediately, he might take... No, but if he takes, then I can... Then I can take on c2. Okay. Should be good then. Because I was thinking he takes hg and then he can park the bishop on g. g6, but I just take his other bishop. And now I think I take h7. Out of three. Like, if he could develop really easily here. I mean, he still has bishop b4, which I missed. So he's sort of getting a game, but... I should be much better with the extra pawn and potential big pass pawn. Okay, so he goes for um, queen deployment instead. But this should be insufficient. Yeah, I kind of wanna wanna keep playing playing for the initiative here with d6 because it was certainly possible to drop the queen back to e4, cover the diagonal, and then just keep going from there. But I thought let's let's try and win in the attack. I am, I mean, his king is a bit airy, and I'm not even material down. So I should be doing great. This looks wrong. How about root d1? Yeah, I'm getting knight d4. Now I've got a couple of options, like the fanciest is to go knight d5. Oh no, then he can trade and he has king. Okay, I'm going to keep it simple. Bishop h4, then knight d5, also bishop c5, I go b4. I'm sure I have many good moves here, but when in doubt, you know, centralize. So queen e4, this should be should be curtains. Now knight d6 is just resigns on the spot. Yeah, poor Oparin. <laughs> he's had a he's had a torrid time against me today. Uh <laughs> I'm playing. Okay, let's serve Nihal with h4 as well. You know, it worked against Opiarian, so why not again? No bullshit B6 response from Nihal, of course. So now I'm just playing a um, Queen's Gambit, or in this case a Tarsh defense, where H4 is, eh. I mean, it's not like clear that it's useful, but uh, it's also not clear that it's bad. Hmm. Okay. Should I go a3 first? No, let's go knight f3. This, now we're basically just playing a Tarash with, a, with an extra h4. And um, yeah, I don't know if that's amazing, but hmm. It's usually like a decent attacking move in the in the Queen's Gambit. Yeah, now the problem is that now the problem is 
that I cannot get. I don't have time for um, Queen E2, so I should probably should probably try and trade then. Queen C7. I mean that's logical with with my pawn on H4 is trying to attack. I don't know. It feels like the pawn on h4 is kind of useful. Knight g5 maybe? Knight e4 to come? Yeah, this is solid. Hmm. This is not easy to crack, actually. You can go G4, but that's a little bit too much, I think. But otherwise, I'm probably struggling to to equalize here. Which is a bit unfortunate. Okay, let's grab this. Also, yeah, I don't have a plan here. Yeah, he could have could have also gone ninety five there, which I think was fairly strong. Okay, I'm gonna try and bail out now. Okay, I'm in full bailout mode. Yeah, very happy to make a draw at this point. But I'm happy to get the queens off. Um, but I'm I'm sort of stuck with the wrong bishop here because my pawns are in on light squares and the queen side has the same color as my bishop, so that restricts mine and they could be targets for his bishop. I think now he's trying to decide whether to trade the knight for for my bishop or not. Okay, he did, which I don't think that was correct. Yeah, this is almost definitely wrong. And he also missed this, e4, and if rook f2, then rook c7. Or, I'm almost certain that he missed this. Oh, I also had rook before me. Yeah. Sort of trying to win now, maybe. Rook d7 back, wow, that's a major concession. Okay. Uh, trying to see if I can do anything. e5, probably rook d2 is good. But doesn't go for it. Ah, this is just stupid. 
Yeah, this was really dumb. I don't I have no idea why I decided to do this. I mean, what the fuck was I thinking? I was thinking like check and rook d7, bishop d5, take f7, but I just missed king g8 back and I'm just worse. What am I doing? I should still be fine though. Or sort of fine. Maybe I'm better. He's really short of moves now. I take with the knight. I think that was panic. Oh, this is still not clear. Hmm. Yeah, my pawns are just running now. Oh, not really. What a mess again. <laughs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. <sighs> I'm gonna go h4 again. a6? Okay, then e4. I mean, I'm always going to play e4 if I, if I get the chance. I think h4 also here, like in most, most, uh, always the hashtag air quality. I think h4 is always useful here. Does maybe get a square for the knight on g4, but I'm, I'm not sure that's relevant. Why is he doing this? Ah, no. Maybe you get some. D3 then? I mean, he was threatening knight before, but now I can just drop the bishop back. And if queen b6, I can go bishop e3, but I can also consider d5. Knight shift for immediately. It's interesting. I feel like I should put the bishop on f4. Knight g4 somehow doesn't sp pass the smell test. Wow, he's really playing aggressively. What's his plan? wants to fortify the knight. What if I go d5 now? Looks very strong to me. d5 takes, if a3, d4. Hmm, maybe castles is even stronger. Problem is I'm feeling a bit of a headache again. Hmm. It's not good when you're playing somebody as tactically proficient as the French guy. Okay. I was sort of expecting that because I didn't see alternatives, but um, now I have a bit of a free hand. A3, 
A3, D, E, Bishop, B4, Knight, D5, I don't see it, so let's just take the uh, strategic edge. Have A4 if I want. Question is, do I want it? Okay, let's go King G2 and just see what he wants. Yeah, let's reroute the knights. I mean, I don't think you can ever try and open up the, um, the king side here, so I should be. Should have a fairly free hand here. So he just. Uh, yeah, let's go a3, preparing bishop d3. Yeah, this is very, very good for me. I'm gonna go bishop g5 next and try and infiltrate on the on the dark squares. And trade, pull a queen d8. I'll go queen f4, I think. Should I go b4 first? Maybe no g5 actually. Yeah, I think I should take the opportunity to go f3, g4 while I can. And he has very little counterplay. I think just b3. If he takes an a3, I have queen f6. So that couldn't work. Rook b1, I don't think he can ever take an a3. I think I can sort of win without calculating too much, so I'll try and do that. Uh, I missed knight f4, knight d4. Then I got bishop g6. I should just win. Okay. I thought I was trapping his knight. I'm actually not. Okay, I can still take this. Check. Check. What am I doing?
Oh boy, yeah, this got a lot closer than it should have. <laughs> Let's go F5 again. <laughs> These blunders are definitely good enough to get you into park champs. That is true. Now, I don't feel, I'm not feeling the sub action here. I'm not sure, you know. <laughs> I don't think people are. I'm just speed running north so I don't want to do anything in the background. That sounds good. 97. Same opening that I miraculously beat uh, Corlars in. But are we going to see the true colors? Colors. Colors. I should stop. Stop making fun. Position may not be terrible. He's gonna get these knights. <laughs> what is what's this name son? It's called um Hanster. That's what it's called. Is this part of a uh, world championship prep? Yes. I I know I wouldn't say I know, but I feel that my position is decent. But I cannot like I don't think I'll be able to find good moves. For the copy pasta, can you at least go with something, you know, clever or creative? Actually, maybe my position just sucks. Would be a disappointing turn of events. Well, and the first dark is the... the first Dark Souls? Oh yeah, we got Dark Souls in the background. Please, some of you watch that instead. This is getting painful. Okay. Oh, F4. I expected him to go rookie one. Now at least I got a square for my bishop. I'm gonna try and take the knight if it lands here. No, what is rookie five? B five was awful. I mean, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing whatsoever. I'm just spent. Absolutely spent. Oh, fuck you. Get banned, whoever is being an asshole. Chat shit, get banned. No, this is not go here anymore. I'm just gonna sack. I'm too. I don't care enough to do anything else. Literally don't. Push the pawn, try and create some. Nice, did you enjoy the um, golf range in Dubai? Yeah, that was the most enjoyable part of it. Mm-hmm. 
he's spending a lot of time. I think he's probably pretty um, tired as well. Ah, oh, I missed this. But I, I this. Try and muddy the waters a little bit. <coughs> Now I will just wait for him to wander. Really? Is he just escaping? Queen d4, so he's preventing. Preventing uh, e5. Makes sense. Let's go here. It's not really funny applying to Okay, now I'm not going to be patient for long. So this is a double attack. But it's just an attack. What is he doing? No queen is seven, no? Take this. I'm sort of back in the game now. This. Queen of five. King h6, maybe? Or g6? g6, that's fine. No, this doesn't work. Haha! <laughs> Get a nice swindle in the last game. That's the only thing we know how to do. Just work hard, swindle hard. I'm so. What does he play against the French? I don't remember. I don't play the French. I don't think I played a lot of French against him. Ah, he plays this. Oh my god. I mean, he plays sidelines everywhere, so. It was uh, a reasonable thing to expect. I don't know if this is good. It seems okay. Can we go here? Queen d4, knight c6. Or maybe queen d4, knight c7. Seems alright. Is this the move, huh? Okay, let's go knight d7 so that I can take with the knights if it was a fish pond d3. That's not in the tree, so. This? It's a castle, c4, c7. Okay. Or really yeah, they come fine. Queen before, okay. So he's trying to bail out just a bit. Queen C seven. That should be okay. Bishop f4. Yeah, bishop f4, I can go. Um, bishop f4, I can go queen d7. That seems fine. And then I threaten knight d5. Okay, that's this. Seems alright. This was missed. Is it good though? Are there no songs queued? Am I just listening to my own voice now? Okay, I gotta. I think I gotta go knight d5. Or maybe it gives the check first. 
was thinking rook d5, e d5, and then... Yeah, now this is clever, actually. Now if king moves, he can go... He can go queen d4, but I think I gotta move the king anyway. Queen d4 if knight f4, and he has queen d8. So I think I just gotta go bishop d7. Yeah, so he ha has to he has to sack from it. I'm not sure this really works for him though. Could be wrong. It's a very tense position. It's made a lot more tense by the fact that. Uh, Asios has left us without music. <laughs> I don't want to hear the sound of my own voice. How can I deal with this? Knight g5, that makes sense. He wants to keep the d4 square for his queen. I think I'll go rook d8, protect the d6 square. And then I'll probably aim to kick his knight away. Yeah, bishop e3, b6. This is tricky. Maybe four. Maybe four is getting quite a bit of compensation. I'm not sure I have anything better. What about d4? And c d4? So 96, 96, queen e7. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go for that. I'm getting dangerously short of time. Oh, he can actually go bishop d4. I was thinking rook d4. Uh, but then you can insert knight takes e6. Yeah, d4 was not good. Knight e4 was better. Yeah. It's less than ideal. Yeah, let's take it. Queen d5. Still probably better. Super unclear. I'm hoping to meet Queen E seven, Queen G five. Okay. I should be better. Let's take the pawn. C4 I can take. It's a clever move. Bring the bishop back. I don't have a lot of obvious plans here. What the heck, what is going on? Oh my god. My rook in the corner is really horrible. Okay, I'm just gonna take this. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. Ah, it's gonna be a draw now. Ah, why did I do that? Hmm. 
Oh, he's losing now. He actually lost it. Wow. <laughs> That's the luck you need. Let's no! go! Yeah! Oh, oh my it? god! So he's uh, he's doing okay, like. Okay, we got a famous bong cloud. He's chat. doing like all the padelka. It worked. Worked. It worked. He's copying okay, all the padelka stuff. This is the moment style. we've all been waiting for. Yeah. This is now the. Now I know how Alex feels. He keeps leaning on my chair. And it's very annoying. I mean, this is the game from today. This is the ding. The, Stop this. This is a Nepo ding game. I gotta take oh. myself smaller so that you can. Did he deviate? I don't I don't think he has deviated yet though. So. Ow! Ow! Bro! What? She's me and I can touch her. Did you see the button? I just have time. My reflexes are too fast, you can't like me anymore. You know what I'm doing? I have. He did it first. He did it first. He did it first. He did it first. Where should I buy this? On the finger? No, no, that seems like a good idea. He wants it. He took it away when I he took he took it away when I tried. I want to bite him on the finger. He didn't took it away. I want to let my hand if so, if, if somebody sees this game, they will not get it on phone call. I bet Nag is a high high rated stepping up. That's true. And he did start with the bomb cloud. I need to go into the bomb cloud in this game. Yeah. Oh wow, thank you for teaching me. This is the game for the next time you came in, you can be playing this game. Because you love that thing. So Andrea, everybody's drinking except you. What's up with that? Is that a Yeah, yes. I, I drink. I'll drink if Magnus fucks. <laughs> Okay, say Magnus one word, song. Magnus. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna change the playlist. Well, actually, I realize I can't put DMC music, right, Alex? Or what do you think? Music on Okay. All right, yeah, Magnus Mag Mag is a new Lars Monson. Okay, I will do one star request at a time. Wait, no, no, it's because. No, yeah, it's a good one. Okay, okay. Let's start
Okay, Darda. This is the guy who rather rudely mated me into in a worse position. Um, like a couple of months ago. So I'll be looking to do better this time. Uh, G6. Now he's allowing C3, D4. <laughs> yeah, some fireworks here outside. <laughs> Not crying after losing that game. Minus 100 streaming rating. Yeah, at the very least. <laughs> John Ryan pulls up. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> uh, this way it's only considering taking first oh we got another mod <laughs> you can't I works after I lost the game yeah. e6 d5 looks pretty promising I have mods, I changed, yeah. Welcome to the new reality. It's a uh, dystopian reality. Why is my mind, why is my voice breaking? <laughs> Reform Magnus, yeah, not for the better. Um, wait a sec, should I check on A4 or on B5? And does it matter? Checking on A4 is slightly more precise. Puma, these nuts? How does that even make sense? Bishop B5. So I'm threatening Bishop D7, followed by Queen A5. And I'm also threatening to take the Knight on E4. And the only way to stop that seems to be Bishop B5. Or also Knight F6. But then D6. Start attacking e6 either by knight g5 or even with rook e1 and if i'm staying in a hotel like before i answer the question what makes you think that just curious okay so he just gives up the piece i guess he does have some token compensation because my queen is a little bit misplaced but Realistically, it's not much. Uh, yeah, this is... Should be pretty easy. He has two pawns, but he's... Pawns are not so strong, and I have good squares for my pieces. Five is an interesting try. I can just go bishop d4. I think we'll just take this. I should not have done that. That was really dumb. Yeah, it was... That was insane. That was so unnecessary. I thought like I was making my life easy, but I'm make actually make, making my life really hard. Oh, he had, um, he had rook a8 there. That was like his best chance of the whole game. He may have had real chances to hold then. Now he's lost again. Okay, that's not. Ah, I don't want to think. Let's keep it simple then. No pawn grabbing. Well, oh, some pawn grabbing now that everything's protected. A3, preventing B4. No counterplay for you, sir. 
Don't blunder the bishop. We'll go take another pawn. Yeah, it's a little bit of counterplay. B1. 94. Now I seem to have uh, consolidated again. And we'll take this one too, because why not? Everything's protected now. I like that. Take this one too. And protect the knight. Very hard to see what could go wrong. So after b3, he's going to resign. Almost certainly. And uh, I gotta say, like, this is a. Oh, he didn't. Okay. He's playing a little bit more. So it's almost like a picture perfect kind of coordination where every piece is just very nicely protected. And I have a million extra pawns. Now I have to win with some mundane fork instead. Okay. All right. Well, is Magnus hungover? Is that why he's wearing sunglasses? That's what we want people to think, Dad. You know how the, the Magnus did in poker? Did he make some monies? Did he take the money? Okay, good. I heard Alex made 30k. <laughs> Did I have fun Saturday? I'm gonna do a whole story time about the fight. Um, okay. I just realized this. Yeah, it looks a little. Aw, thank you, Skepticon. I appreciate it. I will never fight again, though. It was so terrifying watching people get broken ribs. She didn't really hurt me, so I'm chilling, but she did take the dub. Um, but she had a year of training on me. So for two months, for someone who boxed for an entire year and has been a professional athlete their entire life, I'm not too mad. But I will never do it again because it was so violent and I don't like violence, even though I broke her nose. But I'm gonna do a whole react to the fight because it's still pay-per-view, so it hasn't been posted online yet. Uh, but I will share it soon. <laughs> I bet they planned a mute stream, but Andrea couldn't keep her mouth shut for that long. I, w I was silent for the first game, and then the silence made me too uncomfortable. Michelle looked like a pro. I think she was the most experienced boxer out there, out of even all the men. But now I learned my lesson. Aryan, what is the...
commentary. What do you think about the position, Andrea? Mm -hmm. um, I don't think the opponent sees the mate. It looks like the Magnuson double sees it, but we're not sure. Do you think he sure. sees one of them or not? Or not? Uh, one of the mates. One of the mates, yeah. Oh, there's there's more than one, yes, yes. He, he would probably see just the one. I think he sees one of them, but not the other exactly. one. Exactly, yeah, I don't think he knows. Okay. His opponent did see the mate. They're actually pretty good. They're better than I expected. These GMs do see the mate in one. There was one song that we played, like, every time it was missing, we would find one. Your DJ seems to play decent chess. He's, he's, a, he's a man of many skills. I wish we could. Are there any. We should make like. I, I kind of have a list of GMs that I would like to slaughter, but I don't know who's going to play because I don't use it. But we should make. I wish Levy was playing today. That would be the first one I would want to snipe. I saw Levy was very impressed. By your fight. Uh, Levy was actually. Oh, he's playing today. Oh, I just realized though. Well, we might be able to run into him. I would enjoy that, especially after what he did with me. You he think? Uh, me. Do you think he will be on two out of two? Um, I would be happy to bring. Well, you know, our our double. But um, Levy showed up at the at the boxing match. So he he told us he wasn't going, and um, Michelle's team flew him out and paid him to bring me. Wow. So that he showed up last minute walkout Let's and go. he held a flag for Michelle. Cheers. So now Levy is the ultimate enemy here. A very Chief. And one to box. Can I have just one? Um, one to DJ. I'll draw your opening here. Oh wait, I don't even know where my USP is. I don't even know where my USP is. So, who taught you guys the long run? Uh, Andrea played the London, I play the Catalan now. Oh, but yeah, I've seen you play London too. Well, I play everything because I don't know anything. Okay. You don't yeah. know the French? Um, I don't know the French, so now I know the Catalan. I'm gonna wait for my Okay. Magnus, you wanna do a shot? I like the line there. Yeah. It's like a little water and water. That's what I'm saying. It's your favorite. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that, that, that's what he does in that scene. It's 6 a.m. actually. What was your first reaction? Oh, I didn't even know what was going on. I think Alex was asleep. I yeah. came home and I got a very concerning text. I home from my long night out. It's 6 a.m., 8 a.m. in Tampa, and I get a very concerned phone call from Mr. Vila. And then I just, I, I had a man to look about because I thought it was so funny. And she was very I'm so sorry. She was like this. I saw the snap that you were yeah. watching the chess scene from the first one. Yeah. Harry Potter is sick. What a, yeah, what a banger song. The Harry Potter scene? Oh, are we playing the Harry Potter scene? No, I don't think I have it, that's it. I got some Harry Potter scene. Yeah, this opening is terrible. This is like... Don't try this at home. Also, don't try it away from home. Yeah. Don't try it at all. Okay, at D5, I was hoping he was going to play D3, but then I take back D6 and that's the story that's set it up. Sure. Now, my position is pretty low, so that's fine. I'll go D6. And, you know, I'll just play a normal position where my position is just like from D5. Play D3, play F4. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm a bit is considerably worse than this out of there. What? S3? That has to be a master of that thing. There's no reason for that. I mean F4 is probably so good for us. Or D4, eh? Oh, uh, okay, I want to go with you know, this. This guy has, uh, I think, fairly nasty intentions to uh, attack me. Whatever subscribe button. Yeah, do you have any mods? Yeah, please. Uh, I think we have a... We have a command, exclamation mark. Some? Some? Yeah, try that. There are lot, lots of commands. Just try exclamation mark and type anything. Yeah. And half of them should be commands. Yep. Uh, how about DC4? D no, that doesn't work at all. Let's the rook. I'm assuming like... Oh, he doesn't want the pawn? Why do you hate pawns, Mr. Harry Rackle? I offer you a pawn very nicely and you refuse it. I'm not scared to watch Mario, but listen to yourself. First time try that. Thank you. If there are any, uh, if there are people who agree, which I assume there are many, type music and that. Or hashtag you is my name. Yes, we do. Meanwhile, my position is improving quite a bit. Should be, um, should be in command now. Maybe knight d6. Also, I don't think this attack is particularly dangerous. Knight d4 was doing something. I'll play to the pawn, then bring the knight to c5. The root now. We can't get the root on before we get three points. No. Yeah. 
Hashtag justice for the rude. Yes. Exclamation Sato, that's not a command. Oh, no. What is it? Does it have any mobs? That's a bit surprising, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna stack the exchange. I'm gonna sack the mods who don't have a uh, exclamation mark to read. No. There may be a mod there that allows them to read. And get the Samsung command center. Which mod? Where's the mod? Ah, I'm getting impatient. I wanna sack something. I mean, I shan't sack the exchange for no reason whatsoever. Um, this one, then. Once again, he does not want my phone. Yeah, let's bring the queen around. I mean, I think now the position went from, I think, better for me to completely unfair. Okay, I'm gonna grab the pawn. No, I think his last move was uh, pretty significant. Oh. You want to try out and bail out by changing queens, eh? Well, I'm going to... Seems that I have a knife or well, I'm a lot of material. I can't tell. I have two pawns and two knights for a rook. That's that's how I count it. Take it. Go knight c6. I mean, I've played this system plenty of times before, but I'm not sure I've played it against this guy. So e5. I mean, c3 is such a bullshit move. Like, he, he's just hoping for... Um, yeah, he was just hoping for um, 94 d5. I think this is pretty reasonable for me now. I don't I'm not, I'm not sure why he's exchanged. Oh, he wants to go bishop c4, maybe. Yeah, maybe I have to play him the knife then. I have some hope that c3 is a slight weakness uh, in case he uh, changes everything. Yeah, this is quite reasonable. Ah, uh, it's going to Ah, this is so dull. Uh, the knight c5, he gets, he gets knight c2. Mm. What is news? What is news fest? And nothing, oh, uh, yeah. nothing in the week, way. nothing in the Swedish way, indeed. Yeah. Do you want any villa or both? <laughs> thought you were going to ask about boots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh... Oh, Mason is out of suits. Wow. Oh, was that a gunshot I heard? What? No, just, I think something was going on. Oh. oh, we lost the cam. We lost the cam, oh. <laughs> yeah, blue box. Yeah, I think this. Yeah. Are you happy, chat? Chat, chat. I have nothing here. I simply have nothing. 
What a shame. It's yummer. If anyone can go make the cast, that would be nice. Yep. Do I keep in touch with Casper Rouge? No, not since he started losing. I thought you just had a very weird way of saying Casper Rouge. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, not too great. I think Kaskarud is pretty good at golf, actually. But... So, he actually went for B6. Which is, um, it's a little bit double-edged. Like, the pawn could be, um, pawn could be weak. But probably it's fine. Ah, oh, that's a bit too quick. So now that he's... Yeah, it's a bit too early for that. Yeah, this is a bit annoying. I don't know why I love this. Oh, now I can take and then go with me. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm actually getting outplayed. I guess I'm just gonna wait for now. King up. I actually don't know how to count it. What am I doing? Yeah, I think it's good. Try to hack the page or try to submit other thoughts? That's the ban. You had a bunch of sandstorms on request. Bunch of sandstorm request? Ah, uh, now he doesn't want to He doesn't actually want to talk. Uh, and we got a band of the king in. <laughs> king C5 would be a funny way to get made. Ah, Rook E8. So annoying. Five just to get a little space for the king. Well, in general, I should be really happy if I can come out straight to the bottom. Yeah, I should be able to make the bottom. What is he doing? Playing for a loss now? Nah, okay. No, he really is playing for a loss. What the fuck is he doing? Oh, that's a good defense. That's panic by him, I think. Yeah, no, I'm just funny. Haha. <laughs> wow. I can't believe I won that. Suit Chef. I've played this. Okay, I'm gonna try the King's Gambit again. I can't, like, let my last loss be my uh, King's Gambit swan song. I did win the first game of, of Final Two Day in the Queen's Cup. Uh, sorry, in the King's Cup. Yeah. 
Oh, this is not how you play it. Oh, this, yeah, this is not how you play it. Uh, how is this? I think this is lying like this. Do you think your opponent is a witch or an unusual? Siege of Ad. This guy is actually pretty good. I don't, uh, this is a lion. I don't remember how it goes though. Yeah, it's 95 for sure. And then how does it go? I think Queen E1. If I'm not completely mistaken. But I, I think it's losing for white, but I don't remember exactly why. F3 though? Like if you don't know the whole thing, then it's hard to figure out the moves. Maybe it's not like this, I don't know. Playing King's Gambit without Sandstorm is like suicide. Oh yeah, yeah. we're gonna actually gonna get some Sandstorm now. Because we had like 500 Sandstorm requests in the last half hour. Yeah. Good aim. Is this guy actually streaming on, on YouTube? Probably. Yeah. Can anyone can anybody find his stream so we can play? Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to lie in your username. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is a bad. This is so complicated. Oh, we have the Kurtis login. Oh! We finally get that. Um. Kurtis login. Okay, D3, I suppose. Am I missing something really obvious here? Knight c3, a3, bishop a5, bishop d2. Winning a piece. Or maybe f3 wins now. f3. Okay, a3. I don't see it. Green doesn't work. Well, okay, I have several options here though. I can go bishop g5 and then. I think I should be almost winning now. Also, I have bc3 or even bishop c3. Take, take, fg, take, king f2. Bishop h3, that's queen g3, so like bishop g6 maybe, of course. Take, takes everything. King d7, rook f1, no, that should be okay. I don't think I should overcomplicate it as long as I have a few more moves in it. Oh no, knight f4. The end of this line. How does this go? Actually, it's not bad either. In g3, it's also not knight f4. Knight g2, I can take. Rook g1, what does he have? b6 is covered by the knight. Yeah, okay, I think I should just do f3, f2, take. I'm fairly close to getting right here, but I don't think. Yeah, some like knight b1 stuff after f2, but. Too, but I got fish by five with chocolate. I should feel it. Yeah, okay, this is probably so. I think that's a challenge, but I don't think it's a challenge. Okay, one comes in. Or two 
score and then we're good score. Just check this precise. No, otherwise he would have had Oh I could have yeah, it doesn't really matter. I just don't want to give up the DC one to send all my uh all my life experience. I mean, I'm just between the two. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Where's he playing on? 